In this assessment, we're asked to predict the product of the three-step sequence shown on the screen. The reaction is going to start with a primary alkyl halide reacting with sodium cyanide and THF. As a primary alkyl halide with a good nucleophile, this should remind us of the SN2 reactions we've studied previously. Cyanide can donate a pair of electrons to sigma star and kick out the bromide leaving group to give us this as the resulting product. Now when we treat a nitrile with dibal, we're going to get the addition, and I'm not going to show the mechanism, but I will show uh, an intermediate that we end up with. We're going to add a hydride to the carbon and at some point make this relatively stable aluminum complex. So the product of step two, if we could stop the reaction there, and we often don't stop the reaction there, would be this. When we react this complex with water, again, we're not going to go into the mechanism, but at least initially, one of the first things that's going to form is that we're going to replace this nitrogen-aluminum bond with a nitrogen-carbon bond. Not sure why I'm showing the carbon here still, but uh, I did. We would end up with this, which is an imine, and this imine, in the presence of water, will be spontaneously hydrolyzed to give the aldehyde. So the product of this overall sequence is the aldehyde on screen. Just as a review, we did an SN2 reaction to displace the bromide, and then we reduced the nitrile first to an imine, and then because we have water present, it gets hydrolyzed to the aldehyde product. We've added a single carbon and have the aldehyde present in the final molecule.